What's going on guys? Cal here, Jerbrick Central. Um, if my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I'm on vacation right now and I don't have access to my normal microphone. So for the next couple of videos, the audio quality will be a little bit um, worse. But um, I hope you guys are okay with that and understand. But today I'm going to be talking about MacBook Pro um, battery and how there's going to be showing you guys a couple tips on how you can save the battery. Uh, maybe extend it a little bit if you're in a, a pinch and you don't have your charger or you just want to extend the battery in general. So the first tip that I have for you guys is brightness. And I know this is an obvious one, but this is really the, one of the biggest battery draining features um, on the Mac. Really what you want to do is get your brightness down to the lowest comfortable level. Um, now for me, this is about halfway, depending on what light situation you're in. Obviously, if you're in really bright, you're going to want a little bit brighter. But definitely do it to the lowest um, comfortable level. This will really, really help um, save battery for you guys on your computers. Um, really any computer really or any device including iOS devices brightness is a huge um, factor in battery and I definitely recommend turning it down to the lowest comfortable level. Now, the second tip is to eject CDs and drives when you're not using them. Um, believe it or not these actually do take up some um, space in your battery on your, um, um, your hard drive and it will start to drain the battery a little bit. Not a ton but it does drain it um, a little bit and you will notice a little change in battery performance if you eject these CDs and drives when you're not using them, such as an external hard drive or um, a CD disk, something like that. Um, now the next one is to quit apps that are not in use. That's an obvious one again, but I have a trick for it. Um, if you go to Activity Monitor right here, it'll actually bring up all the processes that are being run on your computer. And if you go, if you click this button here, this will organize them or sort them by um, whichever application or task is takes up the most space. So you can here see here the screen flow recorder is taking up a ton. Um, and that's just what I'm using to record this. So obviously just quit the ones that you see. Are they like iTunes? You can see it's taking up quite a bit. So really just quit applications. All, anything that doesn't have an application symbol next to it or something that you don't recognize, don't just automatically quit it because it could be um, something specific to your uh, your computer like Anything that says root under user, you can see here there's Cal McKinley. That's stuff that I'm using. But anything that says root, you can't quit. Do not quit that because that could seriously screw up your computer and you want to keep those running. However, simple stuff like um, anything that says your name next to it, the user, that stuff you can quit, such as iTunes, Google Chrome, stuff like that, Finder. Actually, you can't quit Finder, but just stuff like that um, that ends up taking up a lot of your battery. Now, what you can do to quit that is you just click on it and you hit quit process. Also, this is really useful for if you have an application that doesn't really have a force quit button or something like that and you want to quit it, but it's not. Just go here into activity monitor, click on it, and then hit quit, quit process, and then just do force quit or quit either one. Um, either way, that'll free up some memory on your device and keep the battery running longer. Now, the next one is the backlit keyboard. Um, now, two, um, I think it's, I believe it's two keys next to the brightness button, the brightness keys. There's uh, little keys that look like uh, the image of a sun. And if you click on those, you'll see this goes up and down. And what this is, is the, um, the light that comes from the bottom of underneath your keys. Like when it's really dark out, you can't really see the keys. This is what controls how bright it gets underneath them. It illuminates them basically, so you can see. And you really want this at one or two, um, depending on what, again, what brightness situation. You can have it up to there, but this is another big battery drainer, um, especially if it's, if it's kind of lighter and it's really bright. You can turn this down optionally, manually there. It will do it automatically, but it's not really that great and ends up taking up a lot of your battery. Um, so once again, doing that, uh, that's called Energy Saver. Um, or sorry, not Energy Saver, Backlit Keyboard. That's the next one. And yeah, so once again, just make sure that you get that um, down to the lowest comfortable level, just like the brightness. Now, speaking of Energy Saver, now here we go. Now, Energy Saver is, um, you can see here, if you click on en the little battery in the top right-hand corner, then the toolbar up here, and you click Open Energy Saver Preferences, this will open up your Energy Saver Preferences, and basically this is when the computer goes to sleep and when the display goes to sleep. Now, the display, you can go to sleep really within 5 to 10 minutes. It's pretty, it's not really that big a deal, but that will save some battery as well. And the computer sleep's a lot bigger deal because when the computer goes to sleep, it basically turns off all everything, nothing's running. When the display goes to sleep, everything's still running in the background. You can open it up again and use it immediately. When the computer goes to sleep, it has to wake back up again um, uh, when you next use it. So this is a big deal with the computer sleep, and you definitely want that a little bit, a little bit later just so that you don't lose all your stuff. 
but definitely keep it below 15 minutes, especially just when you're on battery, because that can drain your um, computer's battery a lot if you have this set to like an hour. It'll sit there draining your battery for an hour as opposed to just sitting there for 15 minutes and then shutting down when it realizes that you're not going to be using it again. However, with power adapter, you can have the um, these options a lot higher because when you're plugged in, um, you're obviously charging your computer, so you don't really need to worry about that. So you can have them a little bit longer, like if you're doing some big update to iTunes or your computer, the software system, anything like that. Definitely have it um, plugged into a power adapter. Again, you can choose some options down here that will help automatically reduce brightness before display goes to sleep. These are little things, but in the end, they all add up to um, an extended battery time. So once again, you can just click on this, automatically reduce brightness before display goes to sleep, and it'll save a little bit of battery. You can also do slightly dim the display when using this power source, um, <clears throat> and then put the hard disk to sleep when possible is a huge one. So that means whenever possible, it'll put the hard disk to sleep, which takes up a huge amount of um, huge amount of um, I guess strain really on the battery and causes it to drain a lot faster. Now again, um, turning stuff off is obviously a big one too. Bluetooth is a huge um, battery waster. Definitely turn that off when you're not using it. If you're not using a wireless mouse, anything like that, definitely turn that off. However, if you are using a wireless mouse, definitely or a keyboard for that in that case, make sure it's on because that is what it uses to connect to those devices. But Bluetooth is another huge waster of that. Now this next one, you guys are going to find a little bit interesting. I'm not really sure 100%. I can't say 100% it saves battery life, but a lot of people have reported that it does extend battery life, and that is inverted colors. Um, you can see here, this is what inverted colors looks like. You can do this by holding Control, Option, Command, and then the number 8 on your keyboard. If you hold all those at the same time, it'll invert the colors. A lot of you guys probably already knew that, but I'll go over it anyway. And... A lot of users, um, just tons of people actually, have been saying that this will actually extend the battery life. So if you're, I obviously this is kind of annoying to look at. I don't really like these colors that much. But um, when when you're in, you know, when you're really, you really want your battery and it's going to die, you're working on something important. Definitely try this. I actually, I'd be interested to know if you guys how much success you guys have for this. But yeah, this once again could help you improve your battery life. I wouldn't really recommend that. I can't say for sure. It's a solid tip. But it does, uh, for some people, increase the battery life. So definitely try that out. Let me know in the comments. Now the last tip is private browsing. Now what a lot of you guys don't know is like, or incognito too. If you click and hold on Google Chrome, a couple things will pop up. And you want to click on new incognito window. This basically, whenever you're using Safari, Firefox, Google Chrome, it saves all of your history, all of your data and stuff like that that you're using at that moment. And when you go to private browsing, it doesn't save all that stuff, so it puts less strain on your battery and it extends the battery a little bit longer. Once again, these are all smaller things, but they do add up to overall a better battery experience and um, longer battery time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. My name is Lock Eyes. If you guys have any more questions or any tips that you guys yourselves know, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments below. My name is Lock Eyes. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and as always, see you guys later.